Welcome to Trading Lounge in the US indices for Tuesday, September the 28th. And the stocks are telling me that um, we're basically going bullish and we can see that uh, in the indices as well now because we are looking at an impulse wave to the upside here. So this is the Russell here, of course, on the daily chart. And this can be counted in different ways here. We've counted it as a triangle before as well. Um, I, we'll get to that later, I think. Not today, but we'll come back and look at the different counts. But the important thing here is that we do have five waves up here. So we need to wait for an ABC pullback, which is probably starting now. And then we can look to move in on the long side. So just on the hourly chart here, we're looking back at our old count, we're looking, we don't need that B wave there. Um, we'd been looking at this as wave one before, and well, an A and a B and a C, a bit elongated here, so it's a bit of a concern. And uh, we'd be looking up for wave three, but the important thing here is we've got one and two and three and four and five coming in. There's probably another little high here, but even so, it doesn't really matter. We still need to wait for, um, <clears throat> we still need to wait for a correction in terms of an A and a B and a C wave and then we can go along. So we can do it on top of 2300, which is the top of minor group one. Um, so we'll look for a classic trading levels pattern here. I'm not quite sure how to count that little um, move uh, here. I don't know if that wave four should belong here and then the wave five could go on top here or this is one and ABC for two or something and another move to the upside here. I'm not quite sure how that's gonna polish off. It doesn't really matter because we still need to wait for that clear um, uh, you know, correction at that point. So uh, we'll just wait for the setup. It's as simple as that. Also, with the Nasdaq as well, we're going to change the uh, going to change the um, the count here somewhat as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring wave three uh, uh, higher in this case, and the we don't need these, and we're going to bring that over there and uh, at this stage I'm just going to do this but we'll probably readjust that as well that uh, four that was there um, I'm going to put that there for the time being but the, probably we'll have to put this way four up there um, but we'll get to that a little bit later on but we're going to kind of see it like this now uh, because it appears that we're getting an impulse wave here, we need to do some work on that. Well, then we should see uh, one and two and, you know, three, four and five coming up into this space here. That's what we're going to be playing for. Um, but um, like I said, I might need to uh, adjust this a little bit uh, further. Um, so let's just go in and take a closer look. Just bring that back into the fold. Um, so yeah, we need to do things on the hop here a little bit. So, so we'd been talking and it's probably still valid as well, um, because I can get five waves to the, put this just up here. We'll just leave this one here because, you know, uh, it appeared that we could count this as one, two, three, four, five here, but you know, there was a count on the tick chart, I think, where we where we could count this as one and two and three and four and five. So I'll just leave this a little bit here for the time being, just as a sort of reminder that we need to get through. But what we'd be looking for is any long trade setup um, coming in into place uh, shortly. So one of the things that we can look for just while we're here is we're at the 61.8% there already. So not not quite actually. So it's just down a bit lower around here somewhere. So that's just kind of good to know, but not the end of the world. So we'll just leave this uh, here for the time being, but we'll also look at the bearish side as well, because obviously it looks kind of bearish, but I just want to go to, just want to go to the tick chart to pick this up a little bit actually. That's, um, so I'm working on the hop today a little bit. So yesterday, we were looking at, well, first of all, we were looking, we were looking for a move up to here and then, uh, and, and then a move down, okay? So anyway, that's all sort of occurred. Um, but one of the things that we we're looking at uh, here was this five wave here, which we had as, um, 
It's a bit of a weird count, but I'll use these ones here because at this stage we could count one and two, one, two, three, four, five, four, three and four and five to that point. So I could get five waves to that point. In fact, what I'll do is I'll just copy this here and uh, just copy that a bit more just to show you just what um, what we were looking at. I did have these there, but I deleted them. But now I'm just going to put them back somewhat um, and four so um, in this case we could look at all of this as being wave one here that would be the other way to count it and wave two here then one two three four five here for the third wave here and then the fourth wave and then the fifth wave here so that's how we were counting that up to get to that b wave uh, c of b here right um it's okay, except the problem is wave four overlaps wave one here in, in that instance, you know. So the other way to count this, of course, um, is we'll just remove this for a moment and that. And we could probably use this over there a little bit later. And we'll put wave one here and wave two here. And because we know we've got five waves up there, and I'll just remove these now because just... I've, I think it's important to show why we're changing things. Um, well, that can go up there anyway. But these green guys here, that's they're the ones that make up that move, and uh, so we don't need that. So then there's a there's a you know there's a um, we'll need these over here. There's a good case for having five waves up there. We talked about it yesterday. In fact, we, you know we talked about turning sort of bullish and um that we will do that over the days ahead so this is what we're doing you know um so what we can do the move down here looks impulsive so that means that um and we've rallied back up here it means that we can go long here but it also means too that we could look at this as one and two and one and two and move up there so we'll be mindful of that but otherwise we'll get five waves down here to the 61.8 percent and then move up from that point now if that's the case then you'll be able to just draw a line through here that could be sort of helpful to move in on and just remember that an, a, a line on an ang angle is just the same as a trading level going horizontal you'll still get that kind of thing sitting there like that that same basic pattern you know that migrating from one side to the other so you can work with that in many different ways uh many roads to rome so to speak um yeah anyway but in a nutshell that's uh what we're looking at and we can look at this as wave one and we'll change this to wave two it's not happening two that's enough and wave one and wave two so a change in plan but um it was something that we talked about yesterday so it's not um it's not uh it's not new in any way so i'll just leave all that we'll clean that up later but um yeah so that's kind of it in a nutshell So unless something goes drastically wrong, which means that if the 15,000 becomes the retested resistance, then you know that this five wave structure that we've got with this ABC is incorrect at that point. And even though you don't trade stock, it's probably a good idea to have a look at the stock video as well, because obviously the stocks create this index to a point. Um, the futures market would also govern it as well, the future market uh, really leads, you know, it either leads the cash market or it follows the cash market or it's or it turned before the cash market, you know. So it's always good to uh, understand that. Um, so in this case, I don't think I really need to come back to the NASDAQ in a way. Um, we've got the kind of picture there. Now for the S&P, um, I've always been harping on about my wave three being shorter than my wave one. Uh, so that's always been a bit of an issue for me. So uh, in changing the count somewhat, then it's going to, I mean, I've always thought wave three should be sitting up there, as you know, and then wave four is the reaction from that point. So 
Um, I'll bring it down a little bit um, and I'll put that over there and we'll just leave that over there. But uh, I know also too that we're not going to get a deep correction here. And the reason for that is because on the NASI at least, we've got th three waves in the first move here. So that means that it's either going to be, you know, a flat or a triangle or something of that nature. Oh, you can probably label a double X, you know, X, Y, Z, Z and bring it W, X, Y and bring it down further, but it's still not going to come down to the point where we needed to come down as a wave four at the 4,000 at that point. It's just not I can't see it happening, you know. So um, yeah. So anyway, we're we're sort of look appears that we're back on in, in this um, in this creeping trend to the upside, which is a little bit tricky to count. And um, I did have some good counts come in yesterday from uh, Andrew Wolf, so I just thought we should look at those. One of them is this one here, where he's got uh, wave one and two here and one and two and one and two and three here. So from two here, he's looking at this here as a top here and looking at this as a four here in this case. So having one and two and three and four, and it counts quite well for three and four at this point, but I just don't think we're gonna get that deeper pullback in this case. The other count that uh, he's got is this one here which is kind of also interesting as well because he's got one and two here and one and two here and one and two here so a much a much you know uh d deeper trend to go to the upside sorry you can't see that very well um so red wave one and two here and the other reds are up here but yellow one and two here and then one and two and three. It kind of feels okay, you know. Um, I mean, this has always been tricky to count in here, isn't it, you know? Um, so, yeah, just two different counts. Um, and obviously this one here as one and two and one and two and one and two here. And then, then the three, four, five, this takes it much further, uh, much further to the upside, you know. <clears throat> I mean, uh, so yeah, so that's that one. And this one here, if we open this one, it's one and two here he's got. Um, I know a lot of folks have counted this as wave one up up to this point here. Um, it's, it's doable. It's just a little bit, um, it's just a little bit sort of squeezy and squashy, you know. I mean, we picked the low down here and we got the turn and we started to go long on the two, on sort of, you know, we started to go long on the 2,500. So we could count five waves down here. So it was a bit difficult to call this um, an ABC. And also this move up here is wave one, um, you know, counting this as wave one up here. I know that you can do that, but it leaves like all of this as wave one here, right? And then a sort of a very complicated wave two. And then it leaves this as three and four and five here. So just, you know, it's kind of forcing it. Uh, so I was never really sort of happy with that. So yeah, the reason I've got it like this for, and I'm not saying that I'm right and other people are wrong. I mean, you know, uh, there's other people that have got wave one up here as, as, as well. Um, but I just didn't find it sort of fitting very well. Not after we had five waves down here, and it was very easy to, not easy, but you know, we picked the low here and then we started to go long on, on this level here. Um, and also too, I think that, you know, just discussing this a little bit is that, you know, the world was bubbling along, you know, doing its sort of thing. And, and then the COVID sort of hit at this particular point here. Um, you know, would have would have a person called this wave one and two in you know way over to here or something you know at that point I yeah I'd, I I don't know you know and then to have three and four and five to here it's just a little bit sort of squashy for me to me it just counts nicely as an A B C pattern uh, to here and five waves down for the C here but it's not to say that I'm right or wrong on that okay I mean it's the the thing at the end of the day is to be um, you know, is to look at what the other person is doing rather than having an opinion about it straight away and really pull it apart and then, <clears throat> you know, have your sort of say on it. And it's good to share and it's not about being right or wrong. Um, the only real game in town is is to make money, you know. Um, so that's the important point at the end of the day uh, with it all. Anyway, um, 
Yeah, anyway, great counting, Andrew, for this move up through here. We'll be looking at that again. Um, that's worth sharing. So, yeah, I think that, um, you know, we've maintained being long all the way up through here. Um, <clears throat> and uh, we'll just keep doing that, I think, and we'll, uh, we'll look at this here. We'll be mindful that there can be another move down here, but otherwise we're going to be looking at the... Um, this being finished here in three waves and moving up because it does appear that we've got like a little impulse wave here. So on that note, um, we'll just, oops, I didn't want to get rid of that. We didn't want that. Just um, bear with me a second till I bring that chart back. So that one. So what we want here is, that's the weekly chart, of course. So the daily chart. So I'm just looking at like this with wave one to this point with my ABC. I'm just going to make that a bit smaller. Looks a bit sort of big and... Oh, that is 15, isn't it? Okay, I'll leave it at that for the time being. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to look at this as wave four here. I also understand too that it can be this wave four here as well, but um, I've just taken it down one degree without really sort of freaking everybody out so to speak you know um yeah so um the point here no matter what is what it's about making money so this move down through here is in three waves so i think everybody can agree about that this move up through here um obviously hitting this trend line here in one way or another um it's it could be counted as five waves reasonably comfortable so that means that we should be having a crack on the pullback of getting back of getting back of getting in and um and moving along you know so i don't have all this sorted out through all my charts here it's just been a bit of a work in progress but i i did do this one here just to get the picture here so with wave three over here an a and a b and a c for wave four and then looking at this here for one and two and three and four and five here for one and an abc that can pull back into this space here. so We've got a bit of time um, because we've got five waves up here. We'll look at um, at uh, taking that top out, but as always, we end up bringing that down, you know, to the right places. So that's what we'll be focusing on. Really, is trying to get the turn uh, here in one way or another. So. <clears throat> Uh, yesterday we talked about it here I mean I've just put the we had this as the B wave yesterday and um, I've just put these five waves here so that looks a little bit different but we're also looking for that move up there yesterday and the ABC so we're, everything's so, sort of I mean it's unfolded the way that that we would like which is nice it doesn't always do that of course um, so what we need to do now we can dump that we can grab that low and take that high and we'll have a look at the tick chart, of course, as well. So this is our sort of starting point with this. Will we get there or not is another question. We need to understand that move there. So it will be something something like that. Um, can, we, um, can we bring that down here just yet for this? I think we'll have to come to the tick chart to first of all on that. But just get... <coughs> just put that there we might be able to bring that down there i just need to check on the tick chart so let's go and do that which i haven't really updated but that's okay let's just bring some more stuff in so this is where we were talking yesterday about all of this so we were looking for wave four yesterday and looking for wave five so we can remove the b wave we can remove that and that and that and we can just bring this over to here this to here we need to look at this in some way it doesn't count very nicely as five waves there we'll have to take a closer look at that and the b and the c wave over to there that to there we're going to bring that up to there that to there we'll just keep these here we'll need these These little ABCs will come in handy. And we don't need that. Don't need that at all. Oh yeah, we can use that as, oh, it doesn't matter. 
let's just delete these I can't have too many things on my chart it doesn't allow me to so that's what we're looking at in a nutshell so we can see that this um, could use that as one and two there we might as well just grab it that as three Okay, let's just uh, get in here and have a look. I mean, we can count that as one, two, three, four, and five to there. So that could be one. It's a bit short, isn't it? I mean, it looks more like a B wave. But this here is one, two, We'll have to look at all of that as the third, the fourth, and the fifth. That's an A wave, looks like a B there. So, so that means that we can go long above this one. Just have a look inside these a bit. Sometimes they're too messy to look at, uh, to, to figure out, but um, other times you can. That's, um, that's okay for one, two, three, four, five, for one and two and three and four and five for the C wave. This acts quite nicely as a B wave and this is an A and a B and a C there. So we can put that B wave on that one for the time being. We'll just assume that's five waves, but I need to pull that apart. That's um, five, four, three. Yeah, it'll be there, it'll be okay. So, we could probably use these on the downside. So between the B and the C here, we should be looking for a little five wave move. How far it will come down, don't know, but we'll just do that. But at the same time, we've got this to go long here just in case, you know, but it does look like a three wave move there. So um, we could also get sort of burnt here as well. So we'll need to be a bit careful about that. How far has that actually come down? <clears throat> well, to the close to the 50, is that good enough? Mm, it's a bit of a sort of a place, isn't it? Just wondering if the B wave is going to end up here somewhere, you know. As an A and a B and a C wave up that point, it's possible. Okay, we'll just be mindful of that anyway. What have we got here in the meantime? So this makes wave one down here, that makes wave three. This will be sort of four and five. I don't know how that's going to finish off. I don't know if that's the low or we've got one, two, three, four and five. Do you know what I mean? Finishing off in a bit of a triangle thing. But it doesn't really matter. In one way or another, we're going to get that wave two pull back. And then we'll get the three and the four. Yeah. I think that if we get trapped, we'll just, we'll just need to be mindful of it. That's all. I think we're okay. If that moves up there, the tricky thing is, if it moves up there, it's going to move up in five waves. And then it's also going to have a correction back again. And then if it's, if it's bullish, it's going to be like that. If it's bearish, then obviously it's just going to keep continuing to move down at that point. So where does that leave us? It leaves us long. That means we need to be long earlier. So that means we need to be long there
will still need to accommodate that there. I think we just better make this half a position until we figure that out a bit. We don't want to take a hit unnecessarily. And then we can look to add, once we get, a, yeah, it's just, it's not, that's just going to be the C wave, so we don't have to worry about that. We can always go long on that second high there anyway. But just as a bit of a precaution there. And then we also need to look at um, going long down this down here as well so i'm just putting that line through there because it can make life a little bit easier you know but also too um let's just get rid of that for the time being i'll, put, I'll just i'll just leave that there but yeah just to, we've been over this before but let's just say this this the length of this here right will be something will be have some sort of uh, equality with this one here so we probably won't pull down to the 4.4 maybe the 4.10 4.20 or something um, but when that occurs then uh, let's just say that it comes here then you can use this trend line coming through there if it hasn't been breached and it'll be something like that you know so <clears throat> You know, you could buy the pullback here, for instance, and you can get back in over this side, or you can take the safe trade, profit safely from that point, all of those sorts of things. Um, but otherwise, what you need to do is count five waves down into this space. Still haven't really resolved that. I'll give that some thought. All right, I'll leave it that for the time being. So just to sort of recap everything is that, um, you know, the markets can still be, do we have that on the, no, that was done, wasn't it? We'll just still use the four hour chart anyway. So um, yeah, let's just sort of recap because we've made uh, changes and we've made changes based on what I can see in the stock market with uh, impulse waves to the upside. So we need to be mindful of that. Let's just see if, um, you know, we get wave C here. Um, we've got already, we understand where the wave B is, so we can go long ab above that. Um, there may be a small trap there, so we're taking half a position there. We're gonna look to get in uh, down here further with all of this. Um, we do need those five waves to complete and then we do need um you know if you're going to go that trend line through there then that will also give you five waves up to that trend line so being on the other side of the trend line will be the right thing to do uh to play it safe um yeah so we're going to try and build in on the long side uh but we do need to be a little bit cautious because we've we've changed this and wave fours it doesn't matter which degree of wave four it is they can also get a bit sort of choppy so what i mean by that is that these five waves up here right that could just be you know we could be in another leg so all of this becomes the a wave oh well yeah all that becomes the a wave there and then we get well that's not a very good example is it so um I guess what I'm saying is this is in three waves here. This could be an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave coming into here as a, you know, back up into this area as a flat, and then have another five waves down here and then move off. So an A, a B, and a C wave here, and then we've got to bring that across here. So there's a little bit to go on. Um, I don't think that's the case, and the stock, the actual stocks will give us a pretty clean bill of health for um, moving higher so we'll just see how how it all plays out um, yeah so that's it really that's just the supply zone that's a 61.8 percent it does appear that we got five waves here so it does it does look like we're bullish so we'll just um, we'll wait for this to pull back and then we'll start building in on this third wave over here you know uh, there's plenty of time don't feel like you're missing anything and don't over trade less is more and you know just we can just build in um, as we go let's just sort of confirm things okay because yesterday was the first time that 
I talked about changing the uh, the count and we talked about it and shuffled a few things around and today we've made more of a change and we're also talking about the setup now so tomorrow we'll be talking about the setup even more so on this side here okay about moving in and and so on so that will be in tomorrow's video Alrighty, i'll leave it at that thanks for tuning in cheers